This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video, we will cover counters. So as you know, in the map DM Codex by Cliffy B, there is an Easter egg, and I will show that to you in the game first. So if you remember this section of the map, there are four lights here, these two and these two here. And if you shoot any of these lights four times, or any combination of these lights four times, you can come down here, and you will see a secret room, which is basically just a picture of Cliffy B. Now if you go inside, you're gonna die, because this is just a harmless Easter egg. They don't want you actually camping inside there. And even if you try to just stand here, the door that comes back will close and will crush you. This one here will crush you to death. So the components of that Easter egg are, you need a trigger, which is shootable. So if I take a look at a trigger here, you will see that it is a type TT shoot instead of the normal which is player proximity. That's what I've shown you in previous tutorials. So here it's TT shoot and the uh, events you come into here. When you shoot the trigger, you're going to activate something, which is the count me one. So let's take a look at that. If you come into the actor class browser, you go to actor triggers counter. And let me just put one here to show you. Looks like this. And here are the properties. Of course, you will need an event and a tag, which I will show you in the example. But these are the main ones that you need to adjust. So the first one is B show message. By default, it is false, which means that players will have no idea that that Easter egg exists. They're probably just going to discover it by accident because during a firefight somebody's going to shoot out those lights and then maybe somebody will notice that the door down there is open. But if you want you could make that true and that would give a hint to the players that there is an Easter egg. The next one is complete message. So this is the text that will show once the counter has counted down and again this is not going to show if this is false so you have to make that true. Here is the count message, which is only percentage I more to go. So you can adjust this text, but the important variable here is percentage I. That's the one that counts down to the completion. And here is the number to count. So by default, it's two. But in this case here in Cliffy B's map, I'm just going to delete this. In the case of Cliffy B's map, it's four. So there are four lights that you can shoot out and once once you shoot out one trigger any one of these so once you shoot it it's going to tick off one counter in the count me so let me show you the counter here there's your tag called count me and here's where you choose that it's four times you need to shoot this trigger. And here, as you can see, Cliffy B has chosen not to show the message. So you, there's no hint of the Easter egg. So you have these triggers. Each one is shootable. Each one has an event. And that event is the tag of your counter. And then for the counter, the event of that counter is the mover. So let me just quickly show you the mover. Here is the mover, which is the door. And if you come here, you will see that is the tag. It's called C Cliffy B. That tag matches the event of the counter. And then I want to show you something else here too. It says mover encroach crush so kill the player if the player comes in contact with this brush and then 
I'm going to switch this to zone view. So as you can see, here's one zone. It's all green. You come inside. It's a different color because it's a different zone. And here there's a zone info and you come into zone info. It is B pain zone equals true, which means it's going to give you five damage per second. So if you, if the player stays in here, they're going to die. And if they stay right here, at the doorway, at the doorway, they're going to die. So this Easter egg has no effect on the actual gameplay. It's just a cool thing for players to discover while they're shooting. But there's no secret weapon, there's no secret pickup or anything, and you can't certainly can't hide because if you stay in there, you're going to die. So in this particular case, it's a harmless Easter egg, but the idea of having that counter is quite powerful because you could use this in an assault map or a single player mod such as Monster Hunt or any other single player mod this is very powerful so now what I want to show you is in this official map by the way this is just a copy of it I made a copy never fool around with the official maps always make a copy of it first before you fool around open it up and fool around with it so what I can do for instance is if I take each of these triggers and I make this B trigger once only. If I make these true, then that means that you'd have to shoot each of these four lights once to rack up this counter to four. So that's going to be an even more difficult Easter egg because you'd have to shoot each one once. Then you'd be able to see the Easter egg down below. So in summary, you need one counter and you need to play around with these properties which are under counter and for the counter you must have a tag and an event. You need the, both of those things. Plus you need however many triggers, basic ones, you need however many triggers. These ones have an event and that event matches the tag of the counter and in this case they're shootable but it does I mean it depends on the map you're making you can make it player proximity if you wanted to then the last thing you need is something that happens once the counter has ticked down to zero and in this particular case it's a door so you have to make sure that when you have your mover the tag of this mover matches the event of the counter. 